Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Today is Tuesday, July 14th already. Wow, July is halfway over already. So I got to check the dates. <laughs> I didn't know what day, of the, what day of the month it was there. But today is day two of uh, Grant Cardone's uh, The Ten Times Rule. And today I'm going to go over just for a few minutes four mistakes people make. Uh, Grant goes over four mistakes that most people make when trying to reach their 10 time goals or rules and just the general meaning of success. And a lot of these things I've talked before in other, other videos and other classes, but Grant has these nice down and nice four things that go with every business or adventure or thing that you're going to get into that you want to be successful in. There's four things is one, Mistargeting. Mistargeting is basically saying that you're not setting the right goals. You're the you're going too high. You're going too low. You're you're not focused on the right goal of where you want to be. So, and uh, with real estate, especially when you want to get your business to the next level, it's baby steps. You can't go from doing zero prospecting calls to two hundred calls a day. You can't uh, start making uh, building your database uh, without getting involved in, in having some type of connection with people, like you, and, and which is great nowadays. We all usually have a lot of people right on our cell phone, uh, and you can start building your database. But you have to have something to go by. You can't just like pick up, you know, uh, I'll use an old term phone book and just start, okay, let me add people to my database. You have to be out there, you have to have friends, family, sphere of influence, business acquaintance, past business. You know, uh, people you have that uh, that you uh, use their services, landscapers, uh, servers, anybody you come in contact with is a potential client. So, so miss targeting. You have to have those little goals. Like every day, uh, you you have your ultimate goal that Grant talks about, the ten times rule. Go ultimately like, ten times more than you would ever expect you could do, but get those daily goals in of what you want to accomplish. Number two, severely underestimate. So severely, he talks about severely underestimating the time, money, commitment that you're going to have to make. This is 100% of any new agents are watching this or newer agents watching this. This is the number one thing I see that agents don't get to the success level that they they, they want, especially the new agents. I've again, been in the business 28 years. I bring on 35 to 40 brand new agents right out of school. I see many of them succeed and many of them don't. Uh, this just the this just real estate and business in general. But the one thing is that they totally underestimate thinking that this business is just, I know people, they're going to use me. <laughs> there, I know people. I like houses. I like people. Uh, it'll kind of work out somehow. And wait, be passive with leads coming into them, thinking I'm going to call my every one of my friends, every one of my relatives, every one of uh, everybody I know, tell them in real estate, then sit back and wait, and watch, and wait for the business to come to them. That does not happen. You might, you know. I refer to win the lottery and get someone and call someone for the first time and they happen to be looking for a house then or uh, you might get that core group of family uh, and friends that will, well, if you don't even talk to them for two years, they'll remember you're in real estate and use you. That's very, very, very rare. So misunderestimating the time and commitment and cost that you have. And, that, and I feel I'm just, uh, and, and no one likes to pay bills, but it's very Cost. The, this is like the cheapest business to be in. The, the the cost for your board dues and MLS fees. I know. Again, everybody hates paying them, but if you have one or two sales a year, you're ahead. The, there's if you've been in other businesses or talked to other people that have been in other businesses. Wow, the amount of money and capital that you're going to need to start other businesses is crazy compared to real estate. So you have that ultimate uh, business that the income potential. It could be 10 times of whatever you even think it's going to be. And the, the cost to do it is your time and commitment more than money. Uh, money and it doesn't equal. You have to put the time and commitment. The money and time has to go up at the same. So you can't pay for less time. 
if you can follow me, you can't pay money to put less time into prospecting, less time. You pay money to put, spend more time. Uh, number three, uh, spend too much time competing and watching what I, I take this as, as watching what other people are doing. I, I compare if you're watching other realtors and you see people selling houses, there's lots and lots of great successful agents out there at all different companies and uh, out there. Uh, but don't compete against them. Don't watch their success be your success. That's my opinion on that. Uh, you're watching what other people are doing. You're trying to mimic what other people are doing. I mean, there's a lot of things that we could that you could take from other agents and networking and watching what they're doing, but you never know their whole story. And also, um, I think real estate is more like a, um, a marathon. Uh, you know, you ever watch a marathon? Uh, you see all of these people, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people running a marathon. And I always think to myself, none of them are, I mean, one of them is going to win. And 99% of the people running a marathon are not going to win the race. They know they're not going to win the race. They're not going to beat them. But I, my personal opinion of people that run and if you're if you're a runner out there i'm not <laughs> but if you're a runner you're trying to beat your personal best that's your success they're running like this marathon they think no they're not even close to ever even winning a marathon but what are they trying to do they're trying to beat their personal best each time that, in my opinion, is success. That's daily success. It's success in real estate is what's your personal best? How many calls did you make today? How many prospects? How many appointments did you get? How many listing appointments? How many new buyers did you pick up? How many contracts did you write? You have a personal best. So if you're competing against other people, other agents that you know, or your office, or in the business in general, be just beat your personal best each day, each month, each week, each year that it's like running a marathon. And again, I could compare that to the, uh, I'm just going off topic, topic here, but kind of going uh, like running a marathon. You can't start and just run a marathon. How many people who've never run a marathon could run a marathon today? You can't. I can't. Uh, but it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of commitment. It's going to take a lot of effort and heartache and pain. <laughs> I'm bringing all that in there. But imagine running a marathon and that's the 10 time rule that you want to make $200,000 a year, $300,000 a year, a hundred thousand, whatever you're 10 times of whatever you think you're going to do. Like running a marathon, you got to start somewhere. It's going to be uh, hard. It's going to be painful. It's going to be time commitment and you're going to have to put that aside. So spending too much time competing against other people, compete against yourself. Uh, four, uh, under, uh, underestimate the amount of adversity. I take this as your time. I'm just going to go right to this is, is, is my thing is you underestimate the time and the adversity, not as it, I will take this in real estate, not as in bad. You don't realize how much time you don't have because your life, you have, you might have another job or start with another job. You have family, you have things, you have friends, you have social life, you have things to do. You, for, you didn't realize the adversity of how, all of that, that same life, your life, once you're a realtor and you want to be a successful realtor, your life is never the same. Your time is never the same. Your commitment to things is never the same. Uh, you're going to miss out on birthday parties. I'm not, I'm sorry about the, <laughs> the Debbie Downer here, but you're going to miss out on birthday parties and friends going out because you have a buyer that needs to write an offer. You're going to be out to dinner and but you write an offer, offer gets accepted. You're going to have to excuse yourself, talk on the phone, send flyers, you know, how many of you that are watching this have been in the business a while know all of that stuff? So your life is never going to be the same. So if you are an, you've been an agent a while and you're at a certain level, you already know, or hopefully already know, the next level is going to be more adversity. It's because in, to get to the next level, to get to 10 times, it's going to take commitment. It's going to take time. It's going to be organization and the adversity of just people. Because yeah, you have people in your lives. I've seen it. I've been through it uh, for decades. The, the time commitment to, to be at a certain level is, is really hard. Unless you build, you know, going back to Gary Keller's book, building a team and getting support help and things to delegate some to. But a lot of agents, most agents are not at that level. 
They're not at a level where I'm going to build a team. I have enough leads to give out and I need to hire an assistant. That's great if you could get to that level and that's where you want to be. But most agents are individual agents. I would say 80 to 85 percent of agents, I'm just throwing out a number from what I see, uh, are individual agents by themselves, maybe have a part time assistant uh, sometimes, maybe do a virtual assistant. There's, there's services you could pay per transaction to get help you with uh, paperwork and procedures uh, and, and follow up. So there, you, you could get to that level, but you're going to need help. So, again, number four was underestimating the amount of adversity that it has. And I'm specific, specifying your time and commitment you're going to have to do. Uh, you can't, if you're not at the level you want to be, you can't be putting in the exact same time. You can't be putting in the exact same effort. It's just not going to magically do that. Something's got to change. And then um, last today is just the meaning of success. I've said this before, but success is all relative to you individually and what you want to accomplish. And success always or has to be in business is money. We're in business for money. So success to you, you put a dollar figure on that. And we've been through this on different videos, but I'm happy to do this again with any realtors. And I did this with many of Many of my realtors reached out uh, over the last few months and sit down and go over how many sales do I have to make to get to this income so I could quit my day job or retire or what, you know, just doing the math. So success is all relative. And then also um, Grant uses the, the comparison. You always have to be growing. Success means growth. Success means growing, getting better at what you're doing. Uh, moving towards that goal and it's kind of like I, I use the comparison a flower if a flower is not growing the day it stops growing is a day it starts dying there's no in between growth or you're going the other way uh, of course I will even use this comparison if, if, if any of us have had flowers or plants sometimes they start not growing and start dying but you can rewater them re uh, fertilize them and get them back going they're not they don't go from growing to dead they go growing to uh oh it's it's down so my um what i'm trying to uh compare there is that if your business is taking a step back or has been taking a step back like this year wasn't as best as last year for whatever reason um you still have time to water your business and fertilize business and get it to where you want to go that's why I think a lot of agents stay in the, in the real estate business when things are not. I see agents that I have agents right now that have been with me going on 20 years. And 10 years ago, they were doing nothing. They were, then they, five years ago, they were doing something. And then two years ago, they're doing nothing. And then it goes back and forth and back and forth uh, on that. Um, and some of them are fine with that, but some of them want to get that steady income and get it steady there. That's where you got to you know put everything together. So, that's it for today. Remember, use me as a resource. Feel free to call me, text me, set up some time. We can go over more ideas. I love brainstorming and one-on-one -on -one with people and getting into involved in what they're doing in their life and to help create uh, more success for them. So I'm always available. I'm, I'm on the phone a lot and, and helping agents, but I'll be happy to set aside the time within a day or two from when you call me to, to sit down and talk to you directly. So Thank you very much for watching together uh, today and tomorrow, 11 o'clock, day three. And have a good Tuesday. Bye-bye.